key things are payload performance and protection. So the first and most important is the protection aspect. You want to make sure that the soldier is protected. We have done some things we think is kind of unique in our vehicle, besides just providing the armor and the, the blast hole and things like that. We did do some things that are a little different than maybe what's typically out there from a, a hull perspective. So we use the geometry of the hull, not just the V-hull, but some other aspects of the underbody to provide some, we consider, protection levels at a lower weight. I've taken this course in both our vehicle and the Humvee, and the, the difference is night and day from a comfort perspective on the soldiers. And that's just not to make them comfortable, but if you ride around in a Humvee on some courses like this for half hour, 45 minutes, or an hour, you're literally exhausted when you get out of the vehicle. So that makes that obviously harder for the warfighter to do his mission once he, once he gets out of the vehicle. We ride it around in a vehicle like this with four-wheel independent suspension, our, our air ride, and what we do with the, the, the ride quality, and the soldier gets out and he's got a lot more energy. Energy. He's ready to do his mission versus being exhausted just from the ride alone. And then the other thing is the payload. Some of the things they've done with the Humvee as far as up-arming up to this point, there's really no additional capability left in the automotive solution to put any payload on the vehicle. The vehicle you rode in, the A, has a, a capacity of 3,500 pounds of payload on top of all of the armor solution and the basic vehicle. So we're trying to meet all three uh, points of the iron triangle with a payload performance and protection.